Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Intuitive Clarity with Allison Nichols. Scorpio, this is going to be your astrological yearly forecast. Um, we're going to run this from November 2018 all the way through October 2019. And do understand it is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you or maybe bits and pieces do, um, please check out your uh, moon and rising sign and see if that helps out. Uh, depending on where your chart is, your astrological chart, all the planets are running for the year. So what we're going to do is I'm going to split it up in a uh, in two parts. One part is going to be for the first half, which will run us through March, and the second half will take us all the way through October. Um, also, while I'm shuffling, I would like to remind you to please check out my website. Just click on the link below. There you can book your own personal intuitive clarity reading with me. I, my schedule is up there. If those days, I know it's a short schedule right now. It's just been really crazy and busy. Um, if those days don't work out for you, that's fine. Just email me and let me know and we'll try to work something else out. Oh, cards are flying. They're wanting to talk. Um, also, I wanted to invite you just to go to the website, if nothing else, and just look at the articles that I post. I write all kinds of articles. I publish all kinds of articles on different spiritual topics. If you have a topic you would like for me to research and write on, I will be more than happy to do that. Just leave that in the comments, either on the website or on the YouTube channel. And with that being said, now that all of the advertisements are done, let's see what's happening with Scorpio for uh, November 2018 through October 2019. And three cards have already fallen out. We're going to layer these cards, Scorpio, so we'll get more clarification as much as possible. I'm a Scorpio as well, so I know that the previous year was a doozy for me. I don't know how it was for you. I'm hoping for some peace. Okay. All right. So, <coughs> Scorpio, for the first six months, which is going to take us from November through March of 2019, I had the strength card, but it's reversed. So, it looks like when you're going into this new year, you might be a little tired. Um, there again, we'll do some clarification cards. Um, it looks like you might be a little tired. Maybe you're a bit overworked. We'll find out. Um, so, and also this, when I get this reversed, I like to tell folks, just go get a checkup and just see if maybe if you've been feeling under the weather for a period of time, maybe now is the time to get a checkup. But there again, we're going to continue on. Um, with the second half of the first half of the year, so going into March, I get the full. Now he's reversed. So when he's straight up, I see him as my toddler card, all right, um, because it's blind faith. It's everything is new and exciting. It's going towards something new. Um, you have total faith that the universe is going to guide you. It's, a, it's, I, it's interesting that I got two major arcana cards right off at the beginning of the year. Um, which are also telling me that this is something that the universe is trying to guide you through. So it's whatever is going to happen here, it's meant to happen. It could be um, something that just needs to happen. Perhaps you need to finally go get that checkup. So let's see what's going on here. This is reversed. So it's reckless behavior. Um, straight up, it's somewhat reckless as well, um, but it's more in an innocent way. When it's reversed, it's just not thinking clearly. It's reckless. Doing things that you normally wouldn't do or just um, just being reckless in general. So we'll figure out what that is around. Now, for the second half at the very beginning, I got my two of pentacles, which is pentacles is about money, finances things like that. Um, your earthly matters also. So he is um, trying to balance. So perhaps there might be a new balancing going on in your budget. Um, hopefully you didn't do something reckless that's making you have to rebalance or cause you to have to juggle a few things to make things happen. And then going into the very end of your astrological year, going into October 2019, uh, 
I got the five of, of wands. Now, the five of wands is about competition. Uh, wands in general is, is career. Okay, so there could be um, fives in general are kind of chaotic. They're kind of problem um, energy numbers. <laughs> and I'm going to do a, uh, a numerology on this as well, just to see what the overall energy number energy is that we get. But uh, fives are a bit chaotic. They're lesson learning um, energy, but the, sometimes it, there's destruction in order to create that energy. What I'm seeing here is competition, all right? So there could be something going on in the work level or wands are also very social. Um, so it could be work or socially, perhaps there's a competition. I don't know. Are you up for some type of a promotion or something like that? Perhaps there's a bit of competition going on there. So we're going to clarify and for you readers out there um, that like to, I know I always, I, I love to watch other readers and I write down what decks they use because <laughs> if I fall in love with it or I resonate with it, with it I really want to know and I'll go out and buy it. So these are the um, witchy fortune telling cards. All right. And I use them for my clarification. They're great. So part of my clarification. So let's see what is going on with the strength card Scorpio reversed. And while I'm doing that, let me do some quick numerology. Six. Okay. Well, um, it looks like we're walking into um, the first part of the year in with an eight energy. Okay. Um, and the eight energy is transformation. <clears throat> so, which kind of falls right in line with my uh, strength card here. Uh, being reversed. So perhaps there is some type of transformation that needs to happen. And that could mean um, if this is about medical or something um, physically going on with you, you're just tired, perhaps it means it's time to take some time out um, and recoup, regenerate. That's what we're great at. We are the transformation sign for sure, for sure. Um, and then going into the last part of the year, I'm in a seven year, which um, are seven energy, which the seven energy in uh, general, Scorpio, is it's right after a victory. Um, it's a bit of a resting period as well. Um, there's usually not a lot of action going on with seven energy. Um, and what is going on, it's, it's continuing on from what we just got done. So in other words, it's finishing up projects that we had possibly started while we were in the six energy or what that starting to do what we want in the six energy because six energy is usually about victories, things like that, um, coming out on top, finally getting recognition. So that's what I'm getting. And then if we add these two together, it is a, I'm sorry, seven energy. If we add these two together, we get a six energy. Um, so, which means basically we're going to be victorious this year in what we do and what we set out to do. Um, but there, it looks like there could be some strides. Um, and it also appears there could be some time where you need to take out just for yourself. Take a little break. Uh, I don't know. Go have a spa day. Do whatever it is you need to do to relax, recoup. Um, I feel is very strong the beginning part of our astrological year Scorpio yeah okay all right so to clarify my strength card I actually got um, recognition and work so this is all about work so because this is reverse it it's telling me and we're going to do even more clarification cards here but it's telling me Scorpio it's it's time maybe to take a break from that work. Okay. Um, you're great at what you do. Scorpios tend to just jump in with both feet. Um, and for whatever reason, it tends to work for them. Or if it doesn't work for them, something seems to come out of it that is amazingly fabulous. So that's just how Scorpios are. That's just how we roll. Um, as long as we don't go into that deep, dark mode, as long as we always keep our energy up, we always have transformation going on. So it appears because this is all about honor, rec recognition um, for what you've done. 
you are good at what you do, but it's time to take a little break, perhaps, okay? Now, interesting with my full reverse, reckless behavior, I get the cat and mouse. And the cat and mouse is about flattery, all right? It's about false friends sometimes. It's about saying what you want to get what you want, okay? Or saying what someone else wants to get what you want. Um, but it's also kind of reckless. It's a bit manipulative, right? So perhaps you are trying to manipulate someone or they are trying to manipulate you into doing something reckless. I want you to be careful about who is trying to um, talk you into doing something you maybe don't want to do. All right. They throw you the keys and you know you've had too, much, too many drinks too. You thought they were going to be the designated driver and all of a sudden, oh no, they're drunk. Right. And so they throw you the keys. It's reckless behavior. Be very careful. You get talked into that. Um, so this could be precautionary, but we'll, there again, we'll, we're going to keep going with that. Um, okay. So the balancing act looks like there could be a little love that you might need to be balancing. Or this second half of your astrological year, could it be that you have um, two different loves to balance? Okay. Are you trying to figure out which one is the better partner for you? Um, or, or has someone come new come into your life now that you need to figure out how to balance your work and your love life? Okay, um, so it's going to be real interesting to figure that one out. And I just want real quick, sorry, Scorpio, I want to write down what I have overall, because then we're going to do the overall ending numerology. Okay, the five of wands, um, I got the fox. So we got competition with someone sly. Okay, so is there someone behind the scenes you can't trust? that is in your workforce, in your social force, um, wherever you socialize, or if there's organizations you belong to. Is there someone in the background causing some chaos, perhaps, um, which is making it like a battlefield, okay? Um, so there again, clarification, but that's what I'm getting here. It looks like there is someone um, that is going to cause a bit of chaos in your work environment. And they're doing it behind the scenes. They're slick. So they appear to be your friend, similar to the flattery card. They appear to be your friend, but in in the back, they're really not. Okay, so there's someone to keep an eye on, perhaps, at work. But let's do some more. Let's do this. We'll do some more clarification here. And there again, Scorpio, um, this is my Alice in Wonderland cards if you want to um, purchase these. I think they're great. The, um, the pictures, I think, are really interesting. And I get a bit of a different read than I, on them than I do with the Rider Waite, if you're interested to know. Um, let's see. Fabulous. All righty, not too shabby here, Scorpio. Aha, though. All right, so we got the page of pepper mills or wands. All right, so these are new projects, new ideas, new um, passions, okay? Um, so he is always my passionate card. He's full of fire. Wands are all about fire. So we were talking about work and recognition and being a little too tired, okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me, so perhaps due to this recognition, there is a new job opening coming up, a new um, promotion, a new project. Um, perhaps you get a new client with a big project um, and you're the one they want to go to. All right. Um, there again, with the beginning of it being you're a little tired, perhaps going into this year, you um, have been on in your resting mode. OK, <laughs> I never know when it's going to happen. It just happens. It's just like, OK, I need time to take 
oh, just take a break. Just walk away from I don't want to hear news. I don't want to talk to anybody other than maybe my clients. Or I just want to sit here and watch YouTube for my days off. Right. So taking a bit of a break. Um, and this could be telling you uh, it's time to take a bit of a break because the year is about to pop here with new projects. So there is a new project that you are going to need the strength in order to, to do. Um, new project, new idea, new passion. Now, remember I told you be careful. Um, be careful what your friends ask you to do. Uh, be careful what someone requests of you. Um, because what I have here is the um, Four of Cups, all right? Uh, it's hats in Alice in Wonderland, but the Four of Hats. So there is some type of something someone's going to be coming to you asking for your help with or asking for you to do, making you an offer, perhaps. Maybe it's an offer you can't refuse. It's foolish, all right? Be careful about any um, things that you sign um, for this part of your astrological year, which is going to be going into March, okay? So just be careful this first half of year of anything that you are asked to sign, anything you are asked to be a part of. Um, it's reckless, okay? You, it's, it's entirely possible you're going to have some regrets over this, all right? You could lose what's, what you have here because someone's offering something to you that is reckless. Just be very careful. If you go to the clubs, check your drinks, all right? Be very careful. Just a little warning there, okay. Now, going into the second half of the year, Scorpio, I have my five of cups, which is interesting. Okay. So five of cups, there has been, a, it looks like there's been a bit of a loss. All right. So remember we were talking about love and balancing. Okay. Perhaps um, going into the second half of the, of the year, you're, there's some type of romance where you, there is a bit of a loss. Perhaps you have to choose one uh, partner to another. All right. So there's still, a, there's still some sadness going on that you had to make a decision. There's some sadness going on perhaps that you are trying to balance this new part coming into your life. Um, perhaps you're missing a bit of your, I don't know, single life, you know, a bit of your independence. We are very independent folk. Um, we don't like people telling us what to do. So, um, perhaps you're missing a bit of your independence. You now have to think about them before you make decisions. All right. So there's a bit of a sadness over some type of a loss here when it, and I believe this is all about your love life. This is about your romances. Um, we'll do more clarification on that too for sure now interesting i got the page of flamingos all right but he is the page of swords and he is reversed when he's straight up he's my problem child all right he's full of great ideas he's in, he is um inventive um however he likes to talk all right he's an air sign he likes to talk he, he likes to gossip he's also my gossip card when it is reversed, it's malicious gossip, all right? It's um, saying things out of turn, perhaps. Now, remember, we said we had the sly fox going on here. Pay attention to air signs in your work environment, all right? Or pay attention to um, mean gossip. There's always gossip. Gossip, it just is. We're human. There's always gossip. All right. Um, pay attention to mean gossip going on in your environment. We are good at ignoring what um, isn't important and paying very close attention to what is. Normally, we're detectives. Um, Scorpios are detectives. Um, so don't get caught up in this because it it could affect you. All right. And um, don't get caught up in the chaotic battle. Because it appears there's something going on either in your work environment, your social environment, if you belong to organizations. There's, there's a sly fox behind the scenes causing some chaos there. Um, I want to do one more clarification, I believe. And then I'm going to do one last card to see. Well, wait a minute. Now, let me go ahead and do this. And then I'll do one last lineup and one last card, I believe. Let's see what happens. 
see what this new energy for the page of wands is all about. I love getting that because it, it's new passion, it's new fire. Um, I just want to, I really want to warn Scorpios for the beginning of their astrological year. So like November, December, January, um, maybe make that a your New Year's resolution, perhaps to um, go get a full physical, a full checkup so that you're prepared for this new passion, this new fire, new idea, new project, whatever it is coming your way. Be prepared for it. Yep. 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 It sure is. There is something new that's going to make you, this is normally, um, this is the stork, and it normally means, it doesn't mean babies, but it does, it can, but it normally means a move of residence. All right. So, perhaps, perhaps there could be some type of a new promotion that makes you have to change your residence. Um and or there is a possibility um, that something new is coming up, which is making you think about changing your residence, making you think about moving. You know you're good enough. So if you wanted to, you could. If you asked for a transfer, they certainly would let you do it. You know you're good enough. Um, so I believe um, towards the end of this first half of the first half, um, the first three months, that um, there's going to be some talk about a change of residence as well. So perhaps there's a new um, house that comes up that you just decide you need to move. Perhaps there's a new family member that pops in and you need to change your residence. You need to get, make your house bigger. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. Or there's a promotion that comes up that causes you to move. So, or a transfer. You know, some type of different position which would make you move to another city, state, whatever. Um, so I get movement for this first half, at the beginning part of your astrological year. And I believe it has something to do with something new happening. And I'm not seeing it actually as a move happening right away. I see it more as um, this is the beginning thought of it. All right. So perhaps something happens at work and you're like, ooh, I'd like to go there. But that means I, I would love to work there. But that means I have to move to a completely other state. So um, there's something to think about there, too. And this transformation being at the beginning with movement, um, even change of residency, change of positions. It could be a change of position, um, change of job. Uh, anything to do with something new, a new thing coming your way. So there is a transformation going on at the very beginning of your astrological year to begin with. So that's interesting in itself. And it does seem to happen that way because remember, we have the moon um, in Scorpio. And I believe um, the, well, oh, clearly the new moon. And I believe the the new moon go, is in Taurus at the very beginning, if I'm not mistaken. So it's opposing. So I believe there's something new that's going to happen, the very first part, that is going to cause you to think about transforming in some way, either move, physically moving, perhaps mentally moving into a different um, area. That's, that's entirely possible, too. Um, now, I got for clarification of this person that's trying to make you do something that's reckless. Interestingly enough, I got the tower, but I did get it reversed. Straight up, it is destruction, right? Um, the tower is always about destruction. Now, um, because it's reversed, I believe it is a minor destruction, but it's still chaos. I just want you to be careful this um, part of the year, um, January through March. Be very careful on who you're trusting, all right? It could cause some chaos. Even if it's minor chaos, it sets you back. And Scorpios hate to be set back from their uh, agenda. They really do. So it could set you back. Just be very careful um, what what happens to you in that three-month time zone um, now, or time pattern. So let's go to the second half, which is the moon reversed. Okay. Now, when it is straight up, it 
it usually means good omens, good things coming your way. But I also see this as secrets, all right? When it's reversed, it's things going on behind the scenes, secrets revealed, all right? So I believe that this upset going on with your love life, that's causing, it could even be causing you a bit of um, imbalance too, um, mentally or emotionally. Um, I believe that this upset is about some secrets that come out. Okay. Um, and it could be that you find that your, your partner is trying to juggle um, another person. Or it could be you get caught trying to juggle another person. It could also just mean that you have this long conversation with your partner and things come out. All right. It's sad, but it needed to happen. So information comes to you and now you have to weigh, is this worth it to me? All right. Now that I know this, is it worth it to me to stay in this situation, in this relationship? Now, talk about getting a clue here. All right. So who is this gossipy sly fox? It's a woman. Pay attention to a woman. Could be an air sign. Either way, gossipy. All right. In a mean way. All right. Causing chaos at work. It's a woman. So this is towards the end of next year. Um, this is the end of your astrological year. So this is going into October. Um, so would be August, September, October. So pay very close attention. Now this woman causing all this chaos at work hopefully um, you're able to avoid because now you know that it's out there. Um, don't be the woman, although I don't think you will be. I think it's this actually has more to do with someone younger. Uh, air sign, perhaps. Um, definitely a woman. Could just be not younger. Could be someone new in your environment, in your work environment that comes in and just causes a bunch of chaos, right? It happens. Um, so just be prepared for that. Now, I want to do um, one last card here to clarify how the year is. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to quickly do the overall numerology for the year. So I know I ended it. Okay, so the ending result, interestingly enough, is a six. I love that. So whatever trials and tribulations that we're going to go through, Scorpio, um, we're going to come out on top. It's a victory. Um, there's definitely going to be some learning lessons going on throughout the year, hopefully. <laughs> All right, there should be always anyway. But I believe there's some interesting lessons that are being learned. Now, I'm curious about this whole uh, someone trying to get you to do something perhaps that's a bit reckless. I'm wondering if this is not possibly a lover or someone that you're involved with, which causes um, some disappointment, right? Because now you're starting to see them for who they really are. Uh, the light's starting to shine on, on them pretty Pretty much so is what I'm seeing there. Um, keep going here. Yeah. Um, be very cautious who your friends are this year, Scorpio. Um, you are very, I mean, you're not very outgoing to begin with. Usually going out there, making a bunch of new friends. Your friends are your solid people, people you trust. 
Um, there are those who might think they're your friends, but you wouldn't let them into most of your world, really. Um, now, for the year clarification and how you're going to feel towards the end of the year, I did get the Page of Pentacles reversed. All right, so Page of Pentacles straight up is focus. All right, you're, you have a new goal, um, new, new projects coming in, new ideas. When it's reversed, it is um, a bit unfocused. And it could be that because at the end of the year, because you've been dealing with all this chaos going on at work, that it's causing you to fall off your focus, right? So um, I believe what this page is trying to tell us um, here, Scorpio, is don't let anybody take your focus away, all right? Um, try to keep this straight up no matter what chaos is going on around you. Um, and there again, starting off the year being a bit tired, uh, I can see how if you fought through all this, you know, there's been chaos at work and then you've had a bit of struggle in your uh, love life and someone that you find that, you know, can throw you off um, towards the beginning of the year that causes a bit of upset. I can see how your focus um, might be a little askew towards the end of the year. Just keep that in mind, all right? Um, so when you start to be like, oh, gosh, I just give up. I just, I can't. Turn it upside down. Turn it turn it right side up again, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you. So don't lose your focus because it can be easily done throughout the year because of others, all right? Not necessarily you um, because of others others. I'm not seeing any major information here where there's going to be a huge influx of money or a loss of money. I'm starting to think that this sixth year that uh, Scorpios are going into uh, actually is going to be a victorious year in general. All right. However, I believe it's going to be a bit flatlined, even though there is new things coming your way, new ideas, new passions, um, a new project coming your way where it's work-related. I believe it's going to be kind of mellow. It's not going to be a, a major destructive year, but it's also not going to be a big year where you could say, oh my gosh, I made the most money I possibly could, right? Or, But you're going to get by. It's not, don't think they're, you're not going to make enough money because you are. It's just not about that. I believe this year, this personal year here is going to be more about growth and more in a mental, maturity, emotional, spiritual way. Um, but there's going to be some folks that are going to cause you a bit of drama, trauma, chaos. Just walk away from it. Okay. Um, keep him straight up. Keep your eye on the, on the ball. All right. Um, because reverse, it is the exact opposite. It's just, it's that kid that you can't get to go to school, you know, no focus. So you get them to go and they're in trouble all the time at school because there's no focus. They don't care. So um, don't be the page of flamingos either, reverse. Don't be that chaotic, um, gossipy, don't fall into that. Um, this year. Just keep your eye on the ball. Do your best to keep him straight up and focused. Okay. So that's what I have for Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. It does look like it, overall it's going to be a good year. Just a few bumps along the way, but that's okay. Um, you know, don't try to do too much because Scorpios tend to do that, but don't do that. Uh, get your rest especially at the very beginning, um, make your, make wise decisions. All right. If there's something new, you want to go out, go do something fun, new and fun. Make sure you make wise decisions. Okay. Um, don't have blind faith. <laughs> don't have blind faith. Don't leave your drink on the table. Um, also, uh, keep in mind that balancing, um, family, your love life, all of that is going to pop up. You, you're going to have some type of a balancing happening with your um, love life. And it could be it's time to balance that out. It could be all of these secrets or whatever is going on behind the scenes actually need to come forward so that you can rebalance 
your relationship, put it in a different perspective, and watch out for that gossip at work. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much. I want you to have a fabulous year. As always, I'm sending loving energy your way. And please, please click below. Um, click like, subscribe, write me a note, do all the things. Don't forget to book your personal reading. I am going to um, put all my readings on sale through the holidays, so through the first of the year. Um, that way, you if you're getting crazy during the holidays and you know you don't have to spend as much money for an intuitive clarity reading. So that is my gift for you. So with that, happy birthday, Scorpio, and have a fabulous year. And of course, I'm sending loving energy your way. Bye bye.